Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The current business environment is too difficult to deal with. Even the cheap giants are worried. Not long ago, European and American semiconductor companies jump up and threaten that if China continue to lower prices, the global semiconductor industry would face a catastrophe. It seems that they are worried about the development of the industry, but if you think about it more deeply, it seems that they are also afraid of unemployment. This is a very common market competition. Why is it described by Chinese companies as a destructive attack? European and American companies make money, so Chinese companies have to be honest and not allow them to lower prices. The reason for this is also very simple, that is, it is because of competition in the market. Looking back over the past decade, the world's semiconductor industry has been almost monopolized by European and American companies. They have advanced technology and a complete supply chain, and they have their own pricing power. But Chinese companies are not satisfied with this situation of being strangled by others, so over the years, they have been constantly increasing their cheap research and development, constantly improving their technological level, and constantly increasing their market share. European and American companies are naturally not happy because their cake has been taken away. They have imposed a technical blockade on Chinese companies, strictly control their products, and then set up obstacles for them one after another. But Chinese companies were not frightened, but chose their own products and lowered the prices of their products. In this way, the main business of European and American companies will suffer a heavy blow, their market will be eroded, their profits will be compressed, and the living environment will become very difficult. Seeing this situation, European and American companies are panicking. At the beginning, they squeeze Chinese companies out of the market by lowering prices. But Chinese companies did not sit idly by. They are constantly improving their products and expanding both domestic and international markets, and finally gaining a foothold. Seeing that the price war failed to defeat Chinese manufacturers, European and American companies changed their words. If China's chips continue to reduce prices, the global chip industry will suffer a catastrophe. This is terrible, but if you think about it carefully, is this a concern for the development of the entire industry, or a fear of the market. This cheap war is more tragic than many people expected. European and American companies are thinking of a price war, but their prices are ridiculously high and can't last long. Chinese companies, however, have reduced production costs to a minimum with advanced technology and large-scale production efficiency, thus making profits. At this time, 
the mentality of European and American companies has changed. They have said that China's cheap prices are too low, which will create a vicious cycle, thereby reducing the profitability of the company and reducing the company's R&D expenses, thus causing a huge impact on the entire industry. But the problem is that European and American companies have been the biggest competitors over the years. Why don't they care about the development of this industry? This price war has not yet been decided, but there is no doubt that Chinese semiconductor companies have a place in the world. European and American companies are still looking for new ways, such as promoting more trade protectionism, to prevent Chinese companies from entering specific countries. But the market is so cruel, low prices, low price things can make customers like them. Chinese cheap companies cut prices to compete, and European and American companies warned that it would cause a disaster in the global semiconductor industry. In fact, it was because the development of Chinese companies threatened their monopoly. Netizens questioned the motives of European and American companies and believed that market competition was normal. Obviously, everyone is very clear about the warning issued by European and American companies. But the question is, China's low prices can really destroy the entire industry. Why have European and American companies made a lot of money with high prices for so many years, but never worried about this industry? So I want to ask, what advantages do European and American companies have in this industry? At the beginning, they relied on price advantages to defeat so many competitors. Now, they have to face the same challenges. Why are they shouting industry destruction? Since they are worried about the prospects of the semiconductor industry, why don't they directly reach a win-win agreement with China, but threaten China instead? Is this cheap war just a market rule or a dying struggle of a profit group? What do you think?